Welcome to today's edition of ISM's Quick Tip Podcast. My name is John Cruden. I'm the Senior California Field Advisor, and today we'll be discussing risk management. As risk management is uh, exploring what the risks are involved, uh, looking at and analyzing the different solutions to those risks, implementing those risks, and then monitoring and practicing those protocols so that when uh, an exposure does come up that you respond appropriately. The advice for a risk management team would be to have uh, the team represent or have representatives from the various constituents at the school. So it would include the administration, a teacher, a parent, a board member, and I would include a student and janitorial or maintenance. The idea is to get the various viewpoints from the different uh, sides and operations of the school so that everyone has a, a voice, everyone buys into the risk management protocol, and it's easier to disseminate the information this way also. Bringing a student into the risk management process brings another set of eyes uh, to the exposures that happen at schools. Their unique perspective will help uh, the administration understand what the students think is an issue, will help with understanding possibly the peer-to-peer -peer issues that in, are involved with the uh, uh, issues of, of students, and uh, again to help with the uh, buy-in of the uh, risk management protocols by the students because you have a student participating. By having a proper documented risk management uh, protocol and system will help number one when the incident occurs to know what to do, who's to do what, and if there is a problem what the next step is. Uh, secondly, to have this documentation presented to the insurance agent who presents it to the insurance company underwriters, it will help the insurance underwriters feel comfortable that the risk will uh, be properly addressed, which will limit the, the, uh, the cost of the loss. Uh, and ultimately, you want to protect not only the direct loss, but the indirect loss. By number one, getting the right advisor that understands schools uh, to get a policy designed for the actual operations of the school. Schools get involved in all sorts of different operations and uh, the insurance agent uh, should be aware of all the uh, exposures that the school is involved in. Once you have the uh, exposures um, presented, the uh, insurance carrier can work with you and develop not only the coverages, but also the risk management protocols so that when an incident does occur, you respond appropriately.